So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to give me a thumbs up. I'm just joking. We're going to be talking about business and why it's so difficult. And I would appreciate for a thumbs up, but you don't have to give it to me if you don't want to. It's up to you at the end of the day what you want to do. But so I came across a very interesting video and I'll play a little clip of when the very good butchers started, they were struggling really hard. They didn't pay themselves. But I'll let them talk about their story. And, you know, in general, business is not easy. It's very, very, very difficult to do. But if you're successful, the rewards are immense. Like, really, really good. Uh, so, but I'll let them play it and I'll talk more about it. So let's begin. Ask a couple questions because yeah. I do think you have had a little bit of fairy dust involved with this. Uh, you know, as you explain it to me, it just goes like clockwork. This happened, then this happened. And oh my gosh, three years, it was so easy. Just so easy. So maybe you could tell me like, where did you stumble? What? Because I want to give people the realistic sense that this is not as easy as it sounds, everybody. Yeah, I think, so I think that the most challenging thing for us probably as we were growing and struggling was, you know, we, we were bootstrapped. So, you know, almost, almost every, except, you know, right after we closed funding rounds, but almost every week or two weeks, we were trying to figure out, you know, how to make payroll um, was oh. one of our biggest challenges. Right. Um, so like I, I pawned my, my wife's wedding ring probably over two or three separate times over the course of her business. Um, there were many sleepless nights. There was, you know, all sorts of, you know, things that went wrong. Literal blood, sweat and tears. Yeah. So it, it was, yeah. yeah, it was like the hardest, I think the hardest thing we've ever done. Um, and now it's great. We've got some cash in the bank, but at the same time, you know, there's a tremendous amount of pressure to kind of, to perform and to, to kind of justify this, this valuation that we have now. So I think the hardest thing for me as well was trying to feed a family of four on no income yeah. for at least a year. We didn't really, I don't think we paid ourselves for, for 12 yeah. to 18 months, obviously like paying our employees was our top priority. And if there was anything left in the bank at the end of the month, which there never was, then we would, we'd yeah. pay ourselves. And um, how did you do that? Did you, I mean, obviously you're working 24 seven. I can only imagine mm. you didn't have a, other jobs, did you? Nope. No, nope. I had, I mean, a few kind of streams of income. We, I think we started paying ourselves 15 bucks an hour within the, maybe within the first year or something. But I mean, that's, you can't really feed a family on 15 bucks an hour. Yeah. Um, yeah, we somehow scraped it together. I don't know. James was living so, in a trailer for a while. Like, it's an RV. An RV, sorry. It's very classy RV. Yeah. Um, I also we stand a, corrected. A lot of help from my father-in-law. He kind of, you know, stepped up a little bit and uh, we, we paid him now. But, um, but yeah, he was struggling financially for a little bit, just supporting us as well. Well, and your wives were supportive. That's obviously Absolutely, a big yeah. deal because you can't really do it without everybody on the home front being down with the game. Um, yeah, absolutely. So would you, you, you've shared a little bit about how tough it is. Would you say that there's anything you'd do differently? Cause I'm sure you've made some mistakes here and there that now as more veteran, you would say like, Oh, why did I do that? Yeah. I think a, a big thing is like, I mean, since day one, our, our, our biggest problem has been production and having more demand for our product than we can supply. And I think we made a lot of, Kind of mistakes when we were scaling up production some of that is because we were limited by capital some of it is because we just had no idea how to scale up production um so i think maybe if we could have we would have tried to find some better resources early on and how you know how do you actually scale production or tried harder to find a co-packer or something because i think that's probably what's limited us the most so far is just not having enough product to get out there yeah having a really good operations person a really good um process engineer on board uh, they're very hard to find and they cost yeah. lots and lots of money that's oh. why we've only just found them kind of more recently um but yeah that was definitely one one big thing so you have a very really see you know from that interview alone they, 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 they had the hard times, they, they struggled, but they kept working at it and working at it and working at it. And now they're a publicly traded company. And, you know, if they continue to execute and do things right, who knows, maybe there'll be a billion dollars in the future. Maybe there'll be two billion dollars in the future. Maybe they will be as big as Beyond Meat in the future. That's not something that's easy to achieve. But if they do it, I mean, 
you're gambling on the company long term. I mean, you could just day trade it, or you can uh, sell out and you know you don't think the company will succeed, and you you put your money where like at the end of the day, you should put your money in and like if you were a long term investor, you should put your money in a company that you believe in. I do believe in this company and I do have an investment in this company. I have reduced my position because I've tried most of their products and I don't think all their products are that great. I think they do have some good products but not all their products are like awesome. So because of that, because of some flaws I see in the company, I'm not as bullish as I used to once be. But if the stock goes back to like a dollar, I'd probably buy some more shares. Uh, because, you know, I think it's a discount of a dollar, but that's just my opinion. And, you know, business is hard. Like, nothing is easy in life at all. And then Solo is another company that I'm bullish on because I believe that, uh, I believe that they do have a product that will sell decently to both businesses and consumers. And I think if management can execute right, I think this company can easily be worth a billion, two billion dollars in the future. Maybe even ten billion dollars in the future. It all depends on how management executes. Short term, the stock can do anything. The stock can go back down to a dollar. I I hope it does. I mean, I would be such a big bull at a dollar. I would load the boat on the stock at a dollar. But will it go down to a dollar? Nobody truly knows. If if I knew, I would not. I would sell all my stock and wait till it hit a dollar and then buy back in. But I don't know for sure. If I did, you know, I'd be rich. I'd sell out and buy at a dollar. But uh, they are having their production line coming up here very soon. Uh, I don't like as I'm recording this. It's uh April. Sorry, March. April, August sixteenth. Hopefully next week they have some kind of announcement. I'm praying that this week they have no, not next week. This week they have an announcement, and by the time I I uh, release this video, the stock is no longer trading at two seventy three, and it's trading closer to five to ten dollars. I'm hoping, but I don't know at the end of the day what's gonna do. We'll see what happens next week. But this is a video I'm pre making for next week. Because I need to prepare videos for the upcoming week because I plan to release three videos a day. So, and uh, on, on Friday and Saturday I have a job. So, yeah. Uh, I, I work because it's my exercise. I don't really have to work at the end of the day. I don't really need to. I only work two days a week, ten hours a week. So I don't really struggle too much in life, but um, I used to work seven days a week, uh, eight hours a day for like a few years. <laughs> so yeah, I used to work hard. Now I'm like ba lay back and just taking it easy and being lazy. But uh, and I'm never gonna quit Superstore because Superstore is my exercise. Even though working at Superstore is a pain in the butt right now because of the whole mass situation that's going on. But yeah, so and then just looking at YouTube, I always wanted to be on the level of Jeremy. Uh, you look like Nukem Finances. He did really good. Uh, there's a bunch of people that is a smash hit. I've been doing it for three years. Could I come out and you know buy you know editing equipment, buy a camera, edit my videos, and hope that more people watch my videos? I could, and I should. I should learn how to edit. I'm just being lazy, but hopefully sometime next week I will learn how to edit. But even if I edit, it does not guarantee. It does not guarantee that my channel will blow up. If we look at Greg Manorino, he does he does bare minimum editing. He does his videos all raw, and he does really well. Why? Because he's a very good talker. He talks really good, and he talks about subjects that a lot of people want to hear about. The government, the stock market, uh, and then how he's always right. But no, he's not always right. He said that Donald Trump was the chosen one, and Donald Trump is going to uh, uh, Donald Trump is going to be the next president. Now he's saying Biden's going to be the next president, and now he's saying that Wall Street wants Biden 
to win and uh, is very bullish on Biden. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he changes his mind sometimes. He's not. It's not I can't. I, I watch him all the time, and like he said, he flip flops too. Like people flip flop, so you know, as an investor, you have to flip flop because you have to readjust your your analysis on everything. So yeah. Anyways, uh, you know, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future updates, and have a great day. Bye.